Hello everyone, I'm Apoorva Pandita and welcome to Live Law. While you may have casually encountered the concept of wills in your day-to-day -day life, today let's look into the aspect through the legal lens. Well, creating a will is like leaving behind a clear roadmap for your loved ones to follow after you're gone. It ensures that your property is distributed according to your wishes without any confusion or disputes. Today we are going to look at some of the most important and common questions pertaining to wills. Starting with the very basics is what is a will? A will also known as a testament is a legal document that declares how you want your estate to be distributed among your inheritors after your death. It's like a personal letter from you ensuring that your intentions are honored. Then what is the legal effect of a will during the lifetime of the person making it? There's a Latin maxim for this, which means that every will is completed by death. In simple words, until the testator dies, the will of the testator is ambulatory, meaning that until that person actually dies, the will is just a flexible document that can be changed or revoked. Now, who can make a will? Any person who has reached the age of 18 is eligible. And the important thing to remember is that the person making the will is mentally sound and capable of understanding the consequences of their actions. However, if someone creates a will while being mentally challenged, but is of sound mind at the time of making it, the will remains valid. Intoxication though can hinder someone's ability to comprehend, so it's best to avoid making a will under the influence. Say you've decided to create a will and you want to make sure all the important details and clauses are included. So what should be the key elements that should be a part of your will? First things first, you need to introduce yourself as the testator. Provide your name, age, lineage, that is the family background and address. This sets the stage for your grand testament. Now it's time to shine the spotlight on your beneficiaries. These are the lucky individuals who will inherit your estate. Whether it's one person or a group of loved ones, make sure to mention their names, ages, addresses and their special relationship with you. Then comes the details of the specific assets you wish to bequeath to each beneficiary. Besides the obvious assets, there may be other valuable items that hold sentimental or monetary significance. These should also be added in the will. Coming over to the executor, well, executor of your will is the person you trust to carry out your wishes and ensure that your will is executed smoothly. And then finally, the signature. This signifies your commitment to the document's contents. Another important thing that people might not know is whether you decide to register your will or not, its validity and enforceability remains the same. Registering your will doesn't actually make it more powerful or effective. The Registration Act of 1908 gives you the freedom to choose whether you want to register your will or not. The next question is, how is a will revoked? There are several ways in which a will can be revoked, depending on the jurisdiction and circumstances. Apart from physically destroying the will, one of the most straightforward ways to revoke a will is by creating a new will. When a new will is executed, it typically includes a revocation clause that explicitly revokes all previous wills and codicils. Now you may ask, what is a codicil? A codicil is like a special add-on to a will. It's like a legal document that explains, changes or adds to the instructions in the original will. Section 2B of the Indian Succession Act provides for the codicil. Think of it as a way for someone to make updates or tweaks to their original will without having to start from scratch. In India, where the Indian Succession Act applies, a person who has made a will can modify it any time they want, as long as they are mentally capable of making decisions about their property. Even if the will is registered, a codicil doesn't have to be registered itself. However, a codicil for its validity must be executed and attested in the same manner as a will. Well, if we talk about the present scenario, the actual scenario, after someone passes away, family disputes can erupt like a storm over the property they have left behind. And that is why it is highly recommended to have a will in place. However, even wills can face challenges, with some claiming that they were made by someone not of sound mind or lacking legal capability. These conflicts arise later, causing confusion and uncertainty. To combat this, people are getting ahead of time by recording the execution of their wills on videos, aiming for maximum transparency. 
While the contents of the will can remain private, it is important that everyone knows a will exists. It's all about avoiding future chaos and ensuring a smoother path for inheritance. And with this, we come to the end of this video. We really hope that you like our content. And if you do, then do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel. And for more legal updates, keep watching Life Law.